Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy up next. Man, I'm gonna come back with another video. Hey, man, say, man, look, first link in the description under merchandise. Make sure you go cop, make sure you go shop. Up next, satin line beanie is cold as hell outside, all right? So make sure you go keep your hair warm and your head warm. Keep it neat with the satin line inside. I right? also I got the up next multi-purpose beanie on my head. I wear it 24-7. Y'all see it 24-7 all my videos down there. Cause it's just so comfortable. And I wear this bitch around the house. And y'all know I ain't capping. Y'all see it. Upload them there five times a day. So y'all can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. Cause I am a content machine. You subscribe to this channel, you turn on post notifications. The notification going ding 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 that bitch gonna go off how many times I upload a day. You feel me? You not gonna get bored. You not gonna <laughs> you not gonna do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like you actually gonna have stuff to watch. Like damn near hours of content. You dig what I'm saying? So make sure you turn on post notifications so y'all won't miss it. Comment y'all opinions down below. We got that boy Cat Williams exposing names. Y'all already know what's going on with these celebrities and these rappers. I know what's going on. It's been going on the whole 24. Let's get into it. Let's get it. Let's go. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. And make sure you go also like and subscribe to YTV because he did create this video. Let's get it. Shout out to YTV. This is when God said, don't eat pork, right? To the people that he was talking to, right? He was not making... Oh, I eat the fuck out of pork. I eat the fuck out of some bacon. I ain't gonna cap you down. And like I just said, y'all don't want me pausing and things of that nature. Look, man, go watch the whole video over here, dog. Go watch the whole video. But other than that, if I got something on my mind, if I got something on my heart, I'm, I am reacting to the video. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm not gonna speak over the video. It don't make sense. Culinary statement. But yeah, I eat the fuck out of some uh, bacon. I don't have time to eat because you're not advanced as a civilization enough to know that if you didn't cook this thoroughly, you are all going to get salmonella poisoning and everyone's going to die that eats this undercooked pork. Thanks. So now can't I can you know. give you. I like my bacon crispy. Damn that that you're all can't undercook. 5,000 years later, he just tells you, hey, don't eat that. Oh, but it smells good. It's great. Don't eat it. And because they didn't, they were able to preserve their society when others were dying. It, it's just that simple. Mm. That, that was the best of the do not eat pork. Yeah. And so, so once you understand, so what's more troublesome is we want to believe that this personal guy, this guy we're looking at, this guy talks to God. Yo, y'all told y'all niggas told me to mute the mic because I be eating in the mic and shit. I can't help. I got a hundred dollar mic. You hear when I smack? I can't help this shit, but I'm gonna mute it. But then I'm eating good. <laughs> Don't be hating, nigga. Go get you some food, nigga. God. But we don't believe he ain't cheating on the first lady. Like, make it make sense. You don't believe he talking to his wife. You don't believe that communication is 100. But you believe God is channeling through him. What has he said that made you believe that? We demand evidence mm. for so much. But we allow things that are so important to be swept under the rug. So paying teachers don't matter. So now everybody in the whole country make more than the teachers and we know it and we all change it and we cool with it and we still putting our babies in. A pandemic had to come for us <clears throat> to see we teachers. Now we see what the teacher was talking about for him. <clears throat> he do talk too much, <clears throat> just like she said. They told us that the lottery system was for them and people been winning $500 million since we can remember. We don't remember nobody's oh, school getting upgraded, not one time nowhere in the country. But these are the type of conversations Cat Williams has uh, in his projects. And, um, you know, it takes a Yo, Joey Kraft to man, bring it out. You fucking best, man. Hey, all that shit. I used to run to that shit, man. Be something you not, you know what I'm saying? People in our demographic weren't supposed to make it to 25. So, you know, based upon that, we already, I'm on my 
second, third life already. You know what I mean? By those standards. That is a and fact. The whole thing is, um, <laughs> I was 35 on Wildin' Out. Let that sink in. Underdig, I came in it when I came in it. Everybody was already famous, but I had seen so many examples that I knew what it could be. You know what I mean? So back to your initial question, like who was inspiring me? I was inspired by Con I was watching the life of Brian. I thought Barney Fife was a comedian. I, I, I was watching things that made me laugh. I, I appreciated the genre and I didn't have filter on what the funny was so it was it was um, everything that came down that lane because I, I that was the lane I was going to be performing and I was just fortunate that God made this way for me and um, you know Yo, they Kat, say you, you can't ever, but you I met, give you <laughs> go ahead let me ask you something have you ever met yeah. uh, rest in peace DMX and what was he like to you when you uh how how inspirational was his music to you in your career and just life well um i always had um a whole relationship with music itself so um as somebody who had left home early when you had a walkman i i um, was married to the fact that i could put those headphones on and be somewhere other than where I actually was. See, that was wrong child, nigga. Instead of paying attention to this nigga, you probably in a comment section right now. Ooh, he fucking that shit up. And he is. I don't get no fuck, nigga. Nigga, I'm on my fifth video, nigga. I don't get not one fuck, nigga. I'm listening to the video. If I pause the video, y'all get mad that I pause the video. If I don't pause the video, y'all niggas get mad that I be eating. Well, shout out to my fans. Shout out to my supporters. But fuck y'all haters. I don't give a damn. Let me continue to eat. Was. And music has been that my whole life. I, um, I met Prince when I was 12 years old and continued to know him all through my life. So musically, I was always on different things than most people. I was listening to Pearl Jam and LL Cool J. I was, I was, I thought Rakim was the greatest rapper that could have ever uh, been created just because I have been following. I thought that he had presented something that couldn't even be topped by himself. And maybe even that was right, but that what was presented in hip hop at that time was so pure and so the only voice you weren't hearing in hip hop gave you that from everybody's vantage point. And we watched it go from when the rapper was the softest dude in the club to where now the rapper got his own bodies. You follow what I'm saying? And the evolution of that <laughs> in hip hop, just as real as how fun the ride has been. That's what people forget is um, real is not a filter. Full, full makeovers is not making over the part of themselves that is the issue. You know what I mean? <clears throat> mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's real shit. That's yeah. deep shit, though. Man, for all the haters out there, I drunk all my Kool Aid. Yeah, nigga, I went to the weed spot. I got the red Kool Aid. I drink out of Kool-Aid. All I got is coffee. If you want to know what's in my cup next to my other cup. But y'all fuck, niggas. But yeah. But, but everything I know, shit, I owe that. Oh. He's speaking that real spill. You know what I'm saying? That real spill, that real spill, that real deal. Um, He basically just saying he evolved with hip-hop. He evolved with the industry. He, he did what I'm saying. And, excuse me. He evolved with hip hop. He evolved with the industry, so he know pretty much <laughs> everything was going on. He know all the secrets, all the ins and outs, and he telling y'all that he lived multiple lifetimes because he was only expected to live to you know black men die young type of shit. Whatever well, they say, them niggas die young. You know what I'm saying? We live forever. You know what I'm saying? But that's just how this shit go. We yo.
the, the I just hope y'all niggas listening and not looking at me, staring at me and shit. Just listen, nigga. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing the video for. So y'all niggas can listen. Goddamn. The black women. You know what I mean? Black women are the the essence of of this creation, and that's why it endures. That's why it. That's why it's special at all. Is because of that. So the black woman said, so "You're not." I could see Cat William with a white girl. No, no, you couldn't. Now you. Whoa, nigga. Whoa, nigga. Don't say that, nigga. He just told you that the black woman is the essence. Why the fuck would you go anything below the essence? No offense to no white woman, but we just calling it how it is. Listen, I always tell y'all young niggas, I'm speaking my truth. Y'all can create your own YouTube channel, own platform, create your own platform, whatever. Speak your truth, nigga, but. Over here, the nigga just told you, nigga, the essence. <laughs> nigga, why would you go below the essence, nigga? So, I think it's Fat Joe. He kind of got that voice. You can kind of tell. And I'm just bullshitting. Like, I researched. I know who he interviewed and shit like that. You haven't ever. You should not be <laughs> It's not because I, it's not because I can't, and it's not because, and because he ain't a patriot, right? You couldn't have been a Bucks fan nope. this whole time just waiting. I'm Brady. That's just evidence his body of work. LeBron has been a champion everywhere he went. Now he went somewhere and became a champion. And the reason they hate on the man is because they taught us you got to go through this college system and you got to learn the fundamentals for four years for free. And then you can go be rich. And yet the Kobe and the LeBron. Man, you got to let motherfucking pimp you. Hopefully you don't break your fucking kneecap. Well, them you and then if to. you break your kneecap and you become a martyr, they'll sell your jerseys for the end of fucking time and you won't make a dollar, huh? It works for who it works for, but everything's not always the answer all the time. Damn, I ain't never heard that shit so perfectly set out where it's like, this nigga really like, motherfuckers like, oh shit, like, or they want you to go break your kneecap. Like, nigga, you ain't got to. It worked for whoever it worked for. It don't. Whoever it don't, nigga, it's a system. At the time they were <coughs> saying it, they weren't making millions and millions of dollars off each Hundreds. jersey. Hundreds Things of change. And as they change financially, they have to change that in the rules to reflect the people. The teacher ain't coming in for free, and nor is the administrator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How? How can I accidentally get an injury and now I can't learn nothing? But even in the in the high leagues like the NFL, they don't have no problem with you getting CT and going out there and shooting uh, some people and losing your life. And they know you got a full fledged brain injury, and they know because they've been treating you the whole time Damn. and sat your loopy self on the bench and said, "Hey, you need to take some time off." And that's how you got in the strip club in the first place. And Damn. now, you see what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Now you drinking, now you drinking all this alcohol. See, he ain't continue. Alcohol more addicted than cocaine. Cocaine, them the same addicted as sugar. Everybody in America addicted to sugar. If you don't got down, believe me, what does your food have? Fuck your food. Oh, you a vegetarian? What does your bread have? Sugar. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? That's I don't CTE, even like that, that shit oh. real as fuck. Yeah, that shit real, dog. Your brain is real as fuck. So any brain injury is real as fuck. Hey, nigga, them niggas actually you know hitting. Saying? Them niggas actually hitting. Like, you don't know how much. <laughs> bro, y'all niggas don't even realize, bro. Niggas was catching CTE in middle school. And I know that because I was playing football in middle school. And I was on the practice team. Nigga, I wasn't even, I wasn't even in the game like that, nigga. And I call CTE, nigga. Not CTE, but I caught a concussion, nigga. The fuck? Yeah. Niggas catching concussions since middle school. These niggas. If you a basketball question. player, you know my brother. We, my brother, my right hand man. He played football the forever. Shut the fuck up, Joe. Let the nigga talk. But no, your body my don't work like that. My brother, play. He played football. Don't like give a fuck about your brother, Joe. We trying to hear a cat. That's him. Freezing again. Nah, nah, that's not me. I mean, we both talking. I no. said, my brother, my he said no. man, Rich, he played football for like 15 years. Sometimes that nigga spaz to where I think he might want to do something to me or something. Duh. And I, no, I swear to God, I'd be like, yo, bro, it's CTE. Like, you need, you need 
just stop? Cause Dude. you looking like you're about to Dude. throw me out this movie on the highway. Like you got the jail B. No, but see, the brain don't operate like that. The brain has been hit. Hit, hit, hit. You know, do you love defense. God? Own it, own it, own it. Own it. You and know then what now you're saying, okay, you listen that's to over now. Turn class? that off. Your brain I mean, don't work yo, like bro, that. I mean, yo, bro, I think if no you're righteous, life. you take care of your family, you good, you help That's why you can't people, afford to play with things you can't fix. I think, I, I think, I, think mm. I, I see where you're in a relationship. God damn, bro, we need to watch another video, because yo, we, we definitely gonna upload another video, because yo ass, you ain't even, mix, YTV, you ain't even mix the video right. If you gonna put out a, a bootleg video, nigga, I was, cause I was about to call it fake, but it can't be fake cause it's a real video of a cat, but damn, bro. Turn this video, hey man, the next video, well, probably not the next one, but nigga, we gonna react to some official cat, shout out to YTV, bro, but you, you gotta do better, nigga, what the fuck? I'm gonna catch y'all folks later, though, I appreciate y'all, peace.